Hey, what's going on, YouTube? My name is Jay and I think welcome back to another uh, Nerf review where today yet I'm not gonna be doing a Nerf Blaster review, I'm gonna be doing a product review of like a it's a it's an attachment that comes separately. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but you've probably seen on other Nerf review channels when we're taking a look at the Nerf uh the modulus uh part of the recon the, uh, the ghost the evader a uh, paint job of a uh, this is basically just a chrono barrel but it fits along with the uh, uh, evader because you got clear stuff and the light will, will go straight through but uh, yeah this is a chrono barrel it basically what it does is it 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 all it's also it's an ammo counter plus it all it also tells you when uh, you have uh, like how, how many feet per second your blaster is and uh, stuff. So just going through a little detailing of it, uh, you do have. I mean, it does. It does require two AA batteries to fully function. Uh, I, I I find that it's just pretty convenient. Uh, it just takes few batteries to actually function, and the whole functioning purpose is. Obviously, single. You also have tackle rails. So if you want to put a uh, put a stand there to kind of support, kind of keep it steady. If you're doing on the table, but who cares when you're holding it? I'm, I'm gonna be doing a test with it, You're just having it on the ground. So I, I will be doing an ion fire and the strife. So yeah, turning it on, you, you do have two functions. You have the on switch right here. It's turning on off, but you do have the countdown, so you can select to how many countdown from what to show you how much how many ammo. You have left and blinks once it hits zero it blinks so you need to change change the ammo and you also count up to just count how many darts you fired i think it goes up to 36 or something i don't know i haven't actually reached that far i don't have any blasters i have 36 rounds so uh yeah uh you also have to do the reset button down here and you do a plus to add or subtract the numbers on which are on the top and if you press both of them, you can change different feet per second, meters per second, because it depends on where you are. Now, I'm in America, so I'm going to be using it in feet per second. So, uh, yeah. So, turning it on, uh, it's currently on, well, as you see here, I don't know if the camera's going to be picking it up, but yeah. This is a countdown mode. It's currently set on six, because the last test I did, it had six ammo. And the reason why I'm looking at it is because backwards on my viewfinder. And then just count up, starting from zero, obviously, because you really, you really can't like do any check. And on bottom, right down here, is the feet per second, or meters per second. To do so, you press and hold this, and it, and change this to, to meters per second. I don't know if you guys can see this. Press it again, and change feet per second. So you gotta press them both at the same time, into the reset button. So, uh, yeah, I started shaking, I have a washing machine going off, which is in the next room over. So, uh, yeah, if you guys are hearing a whirring, yeah, and also there's a fan like right there because it's hot in here. So, uh, yeah, so let's get straight on to the actual testing. And I'll, well, before I get testing, you can see that it has the attachment lug and uh, it attaches to any plastic with the attachment lug. And also, it comes, this plastic comes with the six of the, of the white modulus uh, darts, but uh, I'm not going to be using those. Well, I should use it to just show Congraph, but I'm not going to be using those because I don't. I already have way too many darts open up on my floor. But yeah, I'll try to clean them up. And also, the screen does turn off to kind of save battery power after maybe a few seconds or 30 seconds. But yeah, if you want to save battery, you can just turn it off completely. So yeah, so, so let's do the demonstration. All right, okay guys. So uh, yeah, I have it set up attached to the ion fire. So yeah, the ion fire has four darts. So I have set it on four to count down and actually show you the actual function of the actual you know, we'll be shooting at that box I have. So uh, yeah, loading it. Pretty simple. Again, I did a review on them, so uh, on these these two blasters. So yeah, you take it. Well, obviously, that turns off. And then yes, I have kind of a bipod in here, kind of keep it steady. So uh, yeah, firing. And it shows you 62.3 feet per second. And doing another. Sixty-two point six. Probably because I also have some sort of elevation on here. 
So it shows two darts, and then after I fire this, it'll be one dart. Oh, actually, I don't know if you guys can actually pick this up, but uh, yeah, you might be able to see this. It says 62.9. Again, it varies because depending on the elevation of your blaster, yeah, I'm trying to keep it as a level as possible. So yeah, one last start. The, the last white module start I have attached to the actual blaster itself. So sticking it into and actually, and actually firing it. And it's 60.8. You see, it shows you at the end, like I use them all four and it tells you flashes, blinks, and then says, yeah, you're out. So, uh, yeah, you, you can, s I can also switch by go going up to 10, but again, I'm only going to be firing a five of the actual, uh, of the stripe darts. So, uh, yeah, and I also had a bipod attached to it because obviously this thing is incredibly heavy. So, yeah, breaking it in a stripe here, so attaching it, oh, really hit six. So, uh, yeah. I don't know if I can actually get this to be shown on camera. I'm... Oh. Let me actually try something. Hold on. Uh. I don't know if I can actually video camera the actual stuff, so, uh, It shows you 51.6 61 And I'm just I'm just gonna camera all over the place 